Wednesday morning. I have actually just had a friend round for breakfast, which was really nice. We just had some tea and pan au chocolat. And if you can't tell, I've got round to dyeing my hair. I went a bit darker at the roots and I just didn't put any dye on the ends and I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, yeah, still cooking today. Um, I've got some stock in the slow cooker there, which I started last night. Um, I'll show you that properly later. And then I'm gonna do a chunky vegetable soup. I was going to do homemade bread with it, but we've got a lot of bread in the cupboard and I just don't want to make any more. And then I'm also going to make, I think I'm going to make some chocolate chip scones. So I'm going to tidy up because everyone's had breakfast and it looks like a tornado has gone through here. And then make a cup of tea and then I'm going to start cooking. So come along with me. <music> Mr. Village, but how cute is this for my eggs? I do also have <laughs> more eggs in here. And I've got more eggs in there. I think that's full, I think. Yeah, we go through a lot of eggs. These will be gone two more days, I reckon. Anyway, I'll carry on tidying. So this is my slow cooker chicken stock. So I made this yesterday and I left it on all night. And as you'll see, ooh, oh my goodness, look at that. This is so easy to make. Every time you cook a chicken or my husband made chicken fries and I stole the bones from it, you really need to make this stock. It's so easy. So yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So I'm gonna strain it off now and I'll use that for today's soup. I totally forgot to say, but I will leave the recipe on my website below. And I really do urge you all to make this because it is so easy and there's nothing wrong with buying stock, but come on, let me just show you this one more time. Look at it. And I didn't do anything to make this. I literally just put it in and turned it on. Yeah, so I'm gonna strain that now. And I'm gonna leave all the fat because that is good in my eyes. And voila. Here you have the most beautiful chicken stock. I think, I'm not sure, but I think the main reason why um, it's so brown is because I leave the onion skins on. Now, like I said, you can strain this and then boil this to reduce the fat, but I'm not gonna bother. I like it just as is, full of goodness. Right, I've got everything I need prepped, ready to make our soup. I've got some potatoes, some carrots, leeks, some spring greens, and some pow barley. So I'm gonna start off by frying the leeks in loads and loads of butter. So it's got toast crumbs in it. I do apologize. <laughs> about that much butter's going in. I'm quite a low heat and a little bit of oil on top because this will stop the leeks from burning and then i'm going to pop my chopped leeks straight in and you can hear them sizzling already so i'm just going to break them up a little bit with my spoon and get them covered in all that lovely butter and go in with a bit of salt and loads of lovely black pepper Normally I'd put a bit of garlic in too, but there's loads of garlic in my stock, so I won't put any more in, just in case. You can always add, but you can't take away. So I'm just going to fry down my leeks now until they're really soft. Just breaking them all up and stirring occasionally. Just turn the heat down a bit. So the leeks have been cooking away really nicely now for the last five minutes or so, and they're nice and soft. So I'm just gonna go in with, this is really easy, the potatoes, the carrots, and to be honest, I know you should put the greens in later, like pretty much near the end, but 
I'm just gonna put eyes in now so they are super soft and my child doesn't turn her nose up at them. And I'm gonna mix that in with all that lovely butter. Just to make sure that everything is nicely covered. So the heat's now gone down quite a bit in this pan because of um all well, it's firstly because it's freezing cold in this house and all those vegetables were freezing. It was actually hurting my fingers. Chop them up, they were so cold. So yeah, they are all mixed in really nicely. Everything's covered in butter. So now I'm just gonna go in with the stock, which I've left in a bowl, which is gonna be quite difficult to pour in here. Let's go grab it. Right, I don't know if I've got enough, but I'm just gonna go on in. Ah, oh, actually like the perfect amount. Nailed it. Turn the heat up on that. Oh, this looks so good. I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is the perfect amount of stock. Everything's just all mixed in. So I'm gonna bring this now to the boil. Let's make sure all those vegetables are nice and tender. So last but not least, the last thing I wanna go in now with is the power barley. I don't want too much of this because we will be having bread with it. So just maybe a small handful. One more for luck, because I do really like this. Give that a good mix. So when this comes to the boil, I'm going to put the lid on and let it do its thing. Just boil away nicely. Then I'll turn it down low for about an hour or so. And yeah, that'll be the soup cooked. So now I think I'm going to make the stones for dessert. No, I want high. So my soup is bubbling away nicely behind me. It's smelling really good. So now I'm going to make my chocolate scones. So in my bowl, I've got my butter, which I've grated. That's a really good tip. Sugar, baking powder and flour. And I'm just gonna use my hands and go in and I'm gonna rub it all together till it feels like, like wet sandy breadcrumbs. Now you can do this in a mixer and normally I would, but my hands are ice cold today. And the colder your hands are, the better for making scones. So I thought, I would do it the traditional way and make my granny proud because she would not condone me using the mixer. Okay, so that's all nicely combined in my bowl. So now I'm gonna go in with some buttermilk. Now I actually didn't have any buttermilk, so I just measured out the amount of milk that I needed and I squeezed in some lemon juice. I'm gonna pour that in and get myself a knife. And just mix that all around till it's combined. Something's annoying my dog out there, so sorry if you can hear him whimpering in the background. I think it's next door's cat. She'll be sunbathing in our garden. Just keep going until it comes into a ball. So, oh, as you can see now, this has almost started to come together. So I'm going to leftover Christmas chocolate. I've just chopped up all the little bits and bobs that are left behind. I really don't like this bit, but I'm going with my hands, sort of mush it all together. Take my watch off. And then just make sure oh, the chocolate is evenly distributed through. Oh, or just throw it everywhere, it's up to you. It's lovely and sticky, this is perfect for nice moist scones. And then I'm just gonna follow my surface. Just take my scone mixture and pop it there. Oh, I'm out of shot. I have got a clean hand, hold on. There we go. So going in, just sort of, I don't really know what the word for this would be, but push it all together until you get one nice big scone mix. Again, cold hands are best for this. You do not want to overwork it. So if you wanted to make nice, pretty, even scones, this is where you would get your cutter and cut your shapes out. But I'm just gonna make mine by hand. So let me just change this camera angle a minute. Right, I'm just gonna roll with this angle because my hands are yucky. So I've just brought my tray over and I'll do a time-lapse of me popping them on here. <laughs> oven now for um 15 16 minutes i'll check on them after a quarter of an hour i brush them with some milk as well and when they come out i will glaze them i think with maybe like 
ice and sugar and milk or something like that not really thought about it yet but i will link my recipe down below if you want to copy them um it's my traditional scones recipe so i've just added in the leftover christmas chocolate and now i'm gonna tidy up or oh, check on that soup actually see if the vegetables are tender yet and tidy up and then let my husband use the kitchen because he's been dying to use it all morning okay it's a bit later on now the scones have cooked beautifully the best way to tell if they are cooked if you pick one up once it's cooled a little and the bottom looks like that they're perfectly done so a quick look at my soup yeah that is still oh <laughs> steamed up a bit yeah that is bubbling away in there quite nicely i'm just waiting for the pow barley to catch up because the vegetables cooked a little while ago now Hello. So now I've just made this little glaze. It is ice and sugar, milk and vanilla and I'm just going to drizzle that over my scones. <laughs> only four scones left in there now because i've had some my husband's took a few to work and what do you think good. they're good and sophia says they're good they're so good with a bit of butter on i'm going to my nan's house tomorrow so i think i'll take the last few with me also i've stolen a bit of sophia's because i'm hungry sophia what would you give my scone out of 10 15 I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, next on the agenda we have some stewed fruit. We've got plum and apple with some cinnamon and ginger. And in here we have pancake mix. I mean, just look. Oh, you'd have to forgive me. The light has gone, as you can imagine, this time of year. But look at the bubbles in there. So that is going to be for tomorrow morning's breakfast. And that will sit in the fridge overnight and we'll have it with this little compot I've just made and some syrup. So yeah, that's going to go in the fridge overnight, ready for the morning. And then I'm going to tidy up that mess over there and re-warm up our soup for dinner. Just another look at those bubbles, baby. I'll link the recipe below for the fluffiest pancakes you will ever eat in your life. Seriously, just one more time. Look at these bubbles. This will be even bubblier tomorrow morning. It's always better to prep it the day before if you remember. So yeah, I'm going to cling film that and just leave that in the fridge. And I think that's it for me today, guys. I've just served up our soup. There's a little bit left in there for tomorrow. And we're going to have this with some bread and butter. And Sophia's going to have a load of parmesan on the top of hers. So I'm going to grate that on now and serve up our dinner. Thank you so much for watching everybody and please don't forget to like and subscribe.